Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Just give me a little bit of information about what you would like, uh, you know, some greater clarity on, and I will help you figure things out and move forward from there. Yeah. So keeping it cute with how we normally do things here, I'm doing things a little bit the same, but also a little bit different. OK, I'm starting with the Tarot. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot as normal and bringing through the, the, the energetic messages. But then I'm pulling, putting the um, the Oracle guidance back at the end of the reading. And speaking of which, I have not gotten my cards out, but instead of using the Oracle of the Unicorns this month, I have decided to go with the Crystal Mandala deck to give us a little bit more uh, specific, I guess. Um, Spirit keeps wanting me to say clear and concise. It's not that the, oh, maybe this is just my ego talking, but I don't feel like the Unicorns are not clear and concise. I just feel like the Crystal Mandala deck or Mandala deck this month will be much more specific, just better. It just feels better, okay? Um, also, also, please keep in mind that energies are fluid, yes? And also time is an illusion. So even though this message is coming through for the month of May, I really do feel like this message could really be quite timeless. So whenever you feel inclined to watch it in that given moment, even if it's not in May of 2019, then watch it because there may be something that's relevant to your life at that time. It's just what spirit wants to bring through for this collective message for the month of May. Okay? Excellent. And also keep in mind that we could be, uh, there are people cross-watching here. So just fit the situation how it fits for you. If I'm describing it in a certain way, but it doesn't actually act exactly look like that for you specifically, then just place it where it fits, okay? Don't force anything to fit, but just if it fits in a certain place or in a certain way, and I'm not necessarily describing it that way, go with it. Yes? Excellent. With all of that said, let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, so as I was channeling your energies before I started recording here and I was doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle, I was just getting into your energy and you just feel really big. Like, uh, you just feel like larger than life. Like, there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of ego. This could be positive in the sense that you are gaining some sort of power back. You're taking your power back. You're taking control and you're thinking highly of yourself or you may be in a really egotistical point. Now, Capricorn, you are, your, your card in the major arcana is the devil, all right? So it could be, it could be that your energy is really like getting the best of you. You're overconfident, you're over prideful. But at, on the other hand, it could be that you know, you are feeling very confident. You have big dreams. You're, you're, you're striving for, to really do the damn thing for yourself. You know what I mean? Like you're dreaming big, you're going hard. You're not going home until you get what you want. Like that's a beautiful energy. And it's very much a go-getter energy. When Capricorn, you are a cardinal sign, even though you're a fixed sign, you are, I'm sorry, even though you're an earth sign, you are a cardinal sign, okay? So you're very much a go-getter. I do see Capricorn energy as like the CEO of the Zodiac. So boss making boss moves here guys and so as i was doing the pre-shuffle the six of wands with the queen of pentacles came out now that is you the queen of pentacles officially the queen of pentacles is the archetype of capricorn um it could be another earth sign taurus or gem i'm sorry taurus or virgo uh but there was another card there was more there was more to that oh the six, well, the six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and then there was more. Unfortunately, I'm forgetting now. But what I was getting from that, what, what I was picking up is that you're, maybe it was the Six of Swords. But it's like you're moving on from something that no longer serves you. And this really could be...
you're feeling larger than life, while you're feeling super confident in yourself, while you're dreaming big and not letting anything get you down, okay? Now, on the other hand, you could have, like say, because this is what's coming through now, from a cross watcher's point of view, um, because I do, I do remember that there were some comments from this round of monthly readings for May in which there was like, I, maybe it was just one person, but this specifically is coming to mind. Um, there's a Capricorn out there that this person was dealing with um, that was being really egotistical and was like the devil energy in reverse here, you could say, um, negatively aspected Capricorn energy. And so it kind of, from what I remember, maybe she's moving on. Um, and this really could be someone that embodies some sort of like mother-like energy, caring, compassionate, nurturing, is willing to give as many chances as needed as long as someone is really learning and taking the time to really do things right. Um, but then the Queen of Pentacles is that type of energy where it's hard for her to get to, to, to it's hard for her to turn your back on you, but once she does, she's, I mean, good luck. You're fucked, <laughs> basically. Um, you're going to have to work extra hard to get that person back. So this could be uh, this queen of pentacles and the six of wands doesn't have to be the Capricorn. It could be someone that you're connecting with, could be the cross watcher, but there is victory in moving away from a situation. I really, I don't, I, I really wish I remember what was underneath the deck at that first time. But anyway, all right, Capricorn, enough rambling. We're going to, I'm going to give this three more shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you. All right, Cappies. One. for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three for the month of May. For my Caps, for my Cappy Caps. Here we go, guys. Boop. Overall energy, Capricorn. The Page of Swords. I'm hearing learning, seeking, trying to understand something, trying to find the answer, trying to find a solution. But also, this is kind of giving to that larger than life energy I was kind of picking up on for you because you're seeking out ways to make your dreams come true. Makes perfect sense. But now, keep in mind, guys, this could be how this larger than life energy is like your ego being super, super inflated because you are, it's almost as if you're doing things, if you are negative or if, if you or someone that you're connecting with is negatively aspected like this, it, it's like they're riding roughshod over everybody. Like, like very much kind of like a five of swords energy in the sense that they're willing to get what they want at all costs. That's kind of what that feels like if it's negatively aspected here, okay? Page of Swords. You could also have an energy in which someone is watching you, stalking you, maybe wanting to communicate but not knowing how. Three of Wands, Capricorn. Yes, so you really are, you're moving forward with your life. You're moving forward. Point blank period. And it's like you've got, you've got a central focus here. You've got your eyes set on the prize with the Page of Swords in seeking out ways to really bring your ships in. There is an investment that has been made. There is a path that has been chosen. There is a direction that is that you are moving in or that has been taken. And now you're seeking out fulfillment, I guess. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. That is very good. It's very good. It's also, this is potentially Virgo energy. I do see the pages and the knights as the mutable energy. So with this page of swords here, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius or Libra. But I specifically do see the, the, um, the, the mutable signs in the pages and the knights. So you could be dealing with a Virgo here with the knight of pentacles. This also could be you Capricorn, or you could be dealing with another, with a Taurus or another Capricorn, yes? And underneath that, I told you, you are looking for your wish fulfillment. You have your eyes on the prize and you are not letting anything stop you. Ten of Cups. I like it, Cappies. I like it a lot. So getting into the first half of your reading, um, just keep in mind, guys, this you could see this as the first half of your month or the second half of your month. You could absolutely look at it that way. If it resonates with you that way, go for it. 
Personally, and this is my personal opinion, I recommend that you don't look at it that, that way. I recommend that you just take all of the energies that are coming through here and allow them to settle in your life where they settle, okay? Where they fit. Energies are fluid, time is an illusion, um, and so energy does not move in a linear fashion the way we have a uh, 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 mental concept in time. I hope that made sense. Anyway, getting into the first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, you have the Fool. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> you really are starting a new adventure. And it's funny. It's really funny. Ooh, I'm getting a little too excited here. But it's, it's really funny because as I was channeling your energy, I was seeing you as this larger than life entity. And now that, you know, the queen of pentacles came out, I'm seeing it as the queen of pentacles. She's just got this like massive energy and she's just looking up, looking up into the stars, just like looking up ahead of her and just almost dreaming. And that's literally how this fool looks right here. Okay. Brand new start. Uh, cycles are ending, I heard specifically. So you might be in a phase where you're entering into this energy now, okay? You, I feel like for some of you, especially f uh, for those whom in, in which the message cycles are ending really resonates with, I feel like you're approaching this fool energy now, okay? The fool is coupled with, woo, the eight of swords. Okay, so yes, cycles are ending. And you could be, especially with this page of swords energy in the first card of your overall energy, you could be looking for ways to cut yourself free and start over. I really do feel like you've gotten to the point or someone here has gotten to the point. Um, keep in mind, we do have cross watchers. OK, so just put it as it fits. But someone here has gotten to the point where they are fe absolutely fed up with being in some sort of mental prison, entrapment. Okay. Your second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your reading here, you have the nine of swords. Anxiety, fear, delusion is what I just heard. Number one, it may not be as bad as it seems. Number two, you or someone else may be losing sleep over. And it really could just be, this could be like... Well, this really could just be you losing sleep or having anxiety over the fact of like, how do I get this? How do I get this started? I just, get, how do I get this started? How do I get this started? I have to stop, stop. You don't have to do anything, Capricorn. You need to chill. <laughs> Remember, slow and steady wins the race, Knight of Pentacles. Yes, I understand. I understand you're a, you're a cardinal energy, but you need to chill. <laughs> okay, Knight of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. There could be some sort of situation with uh, the home for some of you, uh, maybe a family situation, um, maybe finances, maybe your career is kind of crumbling a little bit. Um, maybe circumstances at home or financially are, are making things worrisome at home. Some of you are, are re-identifying your career trajectory. And some of this nine of swords, eight of swords energy is some, it has to do with the fact that you've been in a business uh, or in a line of, at a business or in a line of work for X amount of time, or you've, you've you know, gone to school for a certain thing and now you're facing completely radically changing everything. Even though you are a Capricorn, you are a cardinal energy, that is something that a cardinal energy would do. You, of all of the cardinal signs, in my personal opinion, are the least likely to make some sort of drastic change like that because of your earth element, because you are very, very extremely grounded, very practical, very structured. Like, I, I almost kind of want to say, Capricorn don't do shit like this, <laughs> okay? But you know, Capricorn, spirit is saying, sometimes radically different can be very, very good. Yes, your current challenge, in the first half, I'm sorry, well, the challenge in the first half of your reading here. Here you are, the devil. Attachment, codependency. Fear of change is what I just heard. Mm-hmm. The devil is coupled with... Ha! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, spirit. Ace of Pentacles, hell yeah, fear of change. It's okay though. 
I, I honestly, I, I really, what I really want to say about this is this challenge right here, and this is, I'm going to be quite honest with you, Capricorn, this is one of the first times, maybe the absolute first, no, not the absolute, but this is one of the first times that I really felt this strongly, how good and beneficial this challenge is. Like of all cards to get in your challenge position, I would say the, the one you want to see the least is the devil. And I actually really, even though this is your energy, yes, but I actually really like how this feels. This is challenging you to not be so resistant to change. Yes, I keep saying this, but I'll say it again. You are a cardinal sign. Okay, I get it. But you're still an earth sign. All right. This is a really strong challenge, Capricorn, and I really like it for you. For some reason, I don't know why, I just really like it for you. It just feels really, really good. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you've got the Seven of Wands. Okay. Boundaries, blockages. First of all, what I'm seeing with this are the Six of Wands underneath this man. Um, as the challenge is coming up, this could be the opinions of others specifically is what I'm picking up on and you needing to fight that. It could even be your own inner sense of like your own inner critic trying to like keep you on the path that you've always been on, even though deep down in your heart, you know that there is a massive change that you need to experience, that you need to integrate into your life. Um, but especially if these are people around you that are putting their two cents in, you need hard boundaries with that. You need hard boundaries with that, Capricorn. Now, I understand for some of you, this is actually a family situation. You have a spouse, you have kids, you have a home, you have massive responsibilities. Okay, I'm not asking you to completely shirk your responsibilities, cut and run, and like, no, no, that is not what I'm asking you to do. That is not what the universe is influencing you towards. However, if you do want to change the course of your life, you have every right to do that. And you have every right to manifest a way in order, a way to do this in which you're not completely bringing a catastrophe to your family. I hope that's getting across correctly. Seven of Wands is coupled with hmm, the King of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with another water sign, however, Cancer or Pisces. For some of you, for some of you, there is someone that is represented by this King of Cups that you need to put some hard boundaries up against. Hard boundaries. Again, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, though. It could be anybody. But I feel like this is someone that's fairly emotionally manipulative. That was the first thing that came through. The second thing that has come through here is actually Capricorn, this could be your energy. Being emotionally balanced, emotionally grounded, and being willing to take action when it comes to what your heart truly desires and not allowing people to stop you with the seven of wands. Boundaries, yes? Follow your heart, Capricorn. Now, for others of you, this could be a situation in which this, yes, this in fact is the Capricorn's energy that you've been dealing with, but you've got to put some hard boundaries. Maybe you already have between the two of you. Yes? Excellent. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got, ooh, the lovers, Gemini energy. Now, this is first and foremost about a choice. A choice between vice over virtue. Vice being Adam with the burning bush here, the wants, needs, expectations of others. Virtue being Eve with the tree of life, wants, needs, desires of your own heart, your own truth, your own personal truth here. And I really do feel like this is the choice that you need to make when it comes to manifesting this new beginning for yourself, okay? The lovers, you also could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lovers is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Balance between give and take. Some of you are working your little tuchuses off for the sake of everyone else around you. And it's not, and it's like you're not even really reaping much of the benefits. You know, you're overextending, you're overgiving of yourself. 
to people that really at this point may not even be deserving of it anymore. Why? Because they just keep on taking, 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 and they ain't giving shit back. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> second set of surrounding energies for the second half of your reading here. You have the Eight of Wands. Communication, clear and concise communication is definitely needed here. Um, but also I see open air, open space for you to start making some moves and taking some action in the directions that you truly want to be moving in, which could be the de decision that you're making here with the lovers and the six of pentacles. What is the most balanced, the most reciprocal for you? Figure that out and move in that direction. Yes? Eight of wands is coupled with the nine of pentacles. Because you see... This is all about independence, not codependency with the devil here. No, 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 we're talking independence. What do you want, Capricorn or Crosswatcher? What do you want? Take it. Go on and take it. Go on and go after it. Go ahead and do it. It's your life. Live it how you want to. Live it on your terms. Obviously, within moderation, yes, or within the specific circumstances of your life, okay. Like, again, I'll say it again. I'm not asking you to be irresponsible in any way, shape, or form. I'm actually be asking you to be more responsible with your life than you may have ever been in honoring your own truth. Yes? That's what the universe is leading you, guiding you towards. This is like the psych, this is the energy, the, the path. This is the path that you're walking. This is the information that you're seeking in order to build your future, in order to start something new. Yes? Yes. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Four of Cups. Okay, for some of you, I'm feeling like this is a person of a certain age. What the fuck ever. Age ain't nothing but a number, y'all. But who cares? But this is someone that's potentially getting wrapped up in that whole, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man or a woman of a certain age and I've missed my opportunity. Bullshit. Say it with me. Bullshit. You haven't missed anything. You have only pro... Spirit is literally saying, you haven't missed anything. You have only prolonged the process. Don't give up on yourself. Never. It is never too late, is what they're saying, okay? Four of Cups is coupled with Two of Swords. But you don't want to see it, or at least someone doesn't want to see it. Indecisive energy. You got to let that go. Because that is literally what's blocking you. You got to let that go, okay? Your current, I'm sorry, your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, you got strength. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, this is, Spirit is saying, this is the strength, this is having the strength and confidence to do what it is you truly desire. And as you go through this process, I really feel like you're gonna come out on the other end feeling much stronger. Now, this also is a reminder to use, to take your self-confidence and to put it to good use. Yes? That is absolutely a closing message here, especially in the face of some sort of choice that needs to be made here and some feelings of uh, missed opportunity or whatnot, whatever indecisiveness also okay strength is coupled with eight of pentacles doing the work doing the work the work work the work work um interesting two eights here strength is the eighth card in the major arcana and then you have the eight of pentacles having to having the strength to do the work to take the action to go step by step inch by inch, piece by piece, mile by mile, day by day, and just do it. Having the strength and the confidence to believe in yourself that you will be successful and just get going. Make this change, Cap. Make this, I think that's what I'm gonna title the video. Make this change, Capricorn. Let's get into your Oracle guidance for the month. 
closing out your reading here with a card from the Crystal Mandala deck. Oracle messages, Oracle guidance for my Capricorns for May 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alrighty, kids. Let's see what we've got for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my Capricorns for May 2019. There it is. Wow. All right. Card number 49, Goddess Maya and Ruby Aura Quartz, Searing Presence. Okie dokie. We bring you the empowerment of Searing Presence. This empowerment enables you to see truth unveiled, naked divinity in all its beauty and mystery. In your willingness to become present, you shall witness the truth that will set your spirit free and make your heart come alive with divine love. No lie, deception, fear, or agenda remains hidden in Searing Presence, the ruthless compassion of which distills pure truth. With this empowering, you are going to see what you need to see. You are going to be able to see the truth that there is only ever love seeking to free, heal, and discover, it, discover itself. You will feel the grace that permeates your life and assists all beings. All impatience, doubt, uncertainty, and confusion shall give way, becoming soft like wax melted by a lit candle, and only the beautiful light of truth shall remain. So there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yes? Mwah! Take care. Bye!